Hello, back again to another episode of Controller Craziness with Bitwig. This complete control is here for quite a while, but so far you couldn't do anything useful for it. But now with the support in Bitwig 2.4 for USB, we have new possibilities. And since that one speaks only USB, basically, we can also do stuff like display the track names. With Bitwig, there comes already a script for the control series but it's very basic and very very boring so that you don't choose the wrong one let's have a look in here so if you go to the add one and then go to native instruments there's a lot of options here and these ones are the ones coming with bitwig studio but you have to choose one from the list down here which says by me and so you need to choose your model if you have the 25 key version as i do or the 49 or the 61 or even the 88 if you did so you're ready to go what you can do with that do you have the usual stuff like playing stop recording you know toggle your loop forwarding backwarding if you combine it with shift there's much more options like for example here scroll very slowly and you can also do toggle here for example the override mode if you do shift with play you get this nice feature to create a clip and directly you can record in the clip the arp toggles a metronome also pretty handy and if you use it with shift you can toggle the the ticks in your metronome. Also the scale button is nice. If you enable it you get the color indication for the track and the indication of the current scale. It does not change what you play so the keys are always the same there's no transposition or anything happening but you get an indication that currently with the C scale you don't have the black keys in that scale. So you can always play what you want but you see which of the keys are currently in the scale and you can change that if you go to scale you can say okay I want to have a major or for example the minor scale and you can say what is your bass note and if you want to have it chromatic or not. You can also use uh, buttons up here to change this but especially for scale doing it here is a little bit more easy. Okay going back you can leave it by pressing either the back button or the enter button so you close that mode and the first mode you see is the track mode so in track mode you see if you have scale enabled you see the color of the track so if it change track you can change track here you see for the bass I have red and the guitar one is green and so on so you get also a hint with the scale one was the track you're currently editing and uh, with the knobs up here for example you can change your volume you get all these nice indications you see the get ah, you get the slider here you get the DB values you can change your panorama you can change your effects and so on you can also select the tracks not only with that knobs here you can also use the big one here which makes it really nice to quickly select your tracks and if you use that one here with the shift button you can change your master volume you can use that for muting changing the mute state and the enter one changes solo state in the next mode is the volume mode so basically the same stuff but you see the volumes of all the tracks and if we put out the drums one we get much more here if you have a lot of tracks you can also change the whole pages by using the up and down buttons and you still can also use uh, that one and also you get an indicator with that arrow that that track is currently selected so you can scroll very quickly and nicely through your tracks and select them for editing in the next mode uh, you see the editing values for the devices here also you see all the parameter names you see the nice formatted values and can modify them to your hearts alike up there you see the name of the plugin so it's a diva plugin and you see the current page like filter and also here you can navigate through the pages so you see the next one and also see what the name of the devices is and with the up and down knobs you can toggle through the devices you have on that specific track so now there's only one mode missing i didn't show so far is when you press the 
browse button, you get also the full access to the browser. If you enter the browser, the knob, let's go here to devices. So you can switch the different columns here to your samples and to your devices. And you cannot change it here. This one is only for selection because it's very hard to select anything with these knobs. But if you touch it just once, you can select the difference. For example, here I can say I want to have everything. And then you can go back here to your devices and you can change here nicely also the devices. And you have then the option either to cancel your selection or to accept it and close the browser. And then you have loaded here this new plugin. So that's it for the new control implementation. I think it gives you a lot of power to use that device with Bitwig Studio. So have fun with it, enjoy it and make some funky music.